at the BAFTA screening of their lesbian crime musical Emilia Perez, which took place on Sunday at 195 Piccadilly in London. Selena Gomez and Zoe Saldana coordinated in black ensembles. Selena's decreasing figure in 2024 compared to 2023 has undoubtedly given rise to claims that she has boarded the hip Ozempic train. The 32-year-old Ellie Saab candidate showed off her ample cleavage while wearing a pleated gown with an elaborate sleeve detail, glossy pumps, and jewelry chosen by stylist Aaron Walsh from Hassanzada. Renato Campora, a hairstylist, styled Gomez's low ponytail with a center parting for the movie premiere. Makeup artist Hung Van Gogh used her rare beauty brands, gifted lipstick and lip liner to completely contour the confirmed billionaire's complexion. And Selena's whisper pink manicure was done by nail artist Emochin. In Jacques Audiard's musical, Gomez plays the transgender Mexican cartel leader's ex-wife, Jesse Del Monte. The film opens in select theaters on November 1st and goes live on Netflix on November 13th. Emilia Perez now holds an 86% critic approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes out of 76 reviews, earning her the status of Certified Fresh. At Deadline's Contenders London on Saturday, the Texican pop diva stated, I wanted to be a part of this for many reasons. You're very fortunate to collaborate with someone like Jacques as an actor. And it's such an honor for me as an individual to be able to learn from these incredible people. Though I don't think any of us anticipated it going this far, we are truly appreciative. And I'm hoping that the experience will help me realize my potential and my willingness to go beyond in order to get there. Stylist Petra Flannery chose a black embroidered corset top for Zoe, born Zoe Yadira Saldana Nazario, to wear with loose pleated pants. The 46-year-old, who is half Dominican and half Puerto Rican, wore chandelier earrings fashioned like eyeballs since hairstylist Mara Rashik styled her sophisticated top bun. Saldana's makeup artist Vera Steinberg gave her a defined brow and smoky eye, and she completed the look with a pink glossy pout. The Lioness producer star is a formidable winner on THR's list of the Best Supporting Actress Oscar possibilities, thanks to her portrayal of the underappreciated lawyer Rita Moro Castro. It was crucial to comprehend Rita's background and true identity, Zoe stated on Saturday at Deadline's Contenders London. She seems like someone who lacks the guts to stand up for herself. She is overworked, disregarded, and in need of change, but she also craves success, power, and influence. It was crucial to me that she realized that this was a Faustian bargain that she would accept right away and never turn around because she too experiences change. By the time Amelia sees her again three years later, she has truly shed this old skin and changed. It's not as blatantly exaggerated, intense, and rich as Amelia's transformation. Selena and Saldana conversed with Amelia Perez's cast and crew backstage at BAFTA. During the film's promotion in Spanish, Adriana Paz, Camille, Damien Jallet, Virginie Montel, and Clement Ducal all seem to start singing and dancing. Clearly, Gomez and the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 actress have become closer with each of their joint film festival appearances. Alongside Zoe, the two-time Grammy nominee also posed with Adriana Paz and Carla Sofia Gaskin, who shared the Best Actress Prize at the Cannes Film Festival on May 25th. When the Amelia Perez crew travels to Virginia for the Middleburg Film Festival on Sunday, they will present awards for Spotlight actor Saldana and Outstanding Achievement in Music to composers Clement Ducal and Camille. Currently streaming every Tuesday on Hulu, the 10-episode fourth season of Only Murders in the Building stars Selena as artist Mabel Mora, with whom she also serves as executive producer. In addition, Gomez will star and produce the feminist music and activist documentary Louder, the soundtrack of Change, directed by Christy Jacobson, which will have its max premiere this Thursday. On Sunday, the 68th BFI London Film Festival took place at the Royal Festival Hall in London, and the cast of A Real Pain, Jesse Eisenberg, Will Sharp, Curdy Jayawan, Jennifer Grey, and Kieran Culkin, reunited to attend. After energizing one another in a huddle, the gang proceeded to pose fiercely on the red carpet. The 42-year-old Succession alum shoulder was touched by the dirty dancing veteran, who effortlessly outshone her 64 years of age. In the family dramedy, David Kaplan, played by Jesse Eisenberg, travels to Poland with his cousin Benji Kaplan, Culkin, in order to pay tribute to his late grandmother. 